everybody. I am James with Expedition One. Today we are going to be talking about our latch mechanisms that we're doing for the dual swing out tire carrier systems that we offer for Forerunners, Rams, Tundras, Tacomas, and much, much more. We're just going to give you a breakdown on how these work and a little bit about them and maintenance, um, things like that. Originally we looked at a lot of different clamping mechanisms and locking mechanisms and what we found is generally most of them weren't up to the level of abuse that most of, of what we wanted them to be able to handle. We really wanted something that was going to be robust and strong and was going to cam in and pull everything tight. Usually that's the best way to get something to hold very tight. Either you're going to be slamming it shut or you're going to be doing a slower action and you're going to be pulling it all in and compressing it tight. That helps with isolating and keeping the mechanism tight and free of rattles. This is our main hook that we've devised. It has this very unique sloping kind of thing going on, this shape to it, designed so once you've opened and you fully cycled uh, the mechanism, when you're closing it, it will transition down and be able to lock back up on your hook mechanism and then you can actuate it all the way and tighten it. It's this bolt right here that it's important that it stays tight. Now as far as tight goes, you still want to be able to move it by hand. You don't want it so tight that you can't move it. Same thing with this one right here, this piece. It's fine if it's a little stiff. You do want to be able to move it. You don't want to over tighten it though. That's part of what you've got here is this can be over tightened to the point where you're causing too much tension in the whole system and things won't move very good. What can happen is with this small bolt that transitions, it's actually to hold the springs. This small bolt right here, right here that holds onto the top edge of the springs. If that gets tightened too tight, it can cause everything else to bind and it can cause it so this doesn't move properly and cause other parts not to move properly. So you want to make sure this is not over tightened. If you can see how tight it is right on there, the nylock nut on here is just starting to engage. Part of the maintenance of this thing, or some, sometimes not necessarily maintenance, but part of uh, the upkeep of your mechanism to make sure that it's going to latch all the time properly is in that bolt right there. As far as the rest of these, what we have here, so this is your main handle. These bolts going through the main part of the handle down in here, it's not imperative that they are super tight. In fact, this one you can tell I got a little bit of movement out of, that's perfectly fine. When it all actuates and closes, that's how it goes. The lower hook's hooked in place and it's gonna hold tight and be protected from coming out. So that gives you kind of the basics of it. So we do have rebuild kits for these. You can uh, fully rebuild all the main parts and get replacement parts if needed of any of the one components of the mechanism. Now that we've kind of gone over the basics here, let's go out and I'll show you how to actually adjust this on your vehicle. Okay, we're out in the shop now. It's a little bit noisier as you can hear, but we're gonna go through real quick how we can actually do some adjustments on the mechanism on the vehicle. Now the primary adjustments that you'll do on this have more to do with adjusting the actual location of the handle and getting it centered within the carrier uh, housing. Adjusting this is gonna be a little bit trickier because we did just a regular bolt and nut assembly. The new assemblies actually have a carriage bolt, so it's a lot easier to adjust. You can actually do it with basically two wrenches is all you need, nine sixteenths and a half inch. Okay, so a nice trick is to use a masking tape or tape similar to this. I'd avoid stuff like duct tape and tapes that are gonna leave behind a residue and a goo. And the key thing is you want something that's gonna give you contrast. So tape that's black, it's gonna be hard to see. So we're just gonna use the box cutter real quick here and do a cut on each side of the tape Now this is gonna help us do two things. One, it's gonna help us gauge height. And on top of the height gauge, it's also gonna help us gauge the thickness of the gap. The goal here is that we have an even gap on each side so the handle isn't rubbing one side or the other and that we've got it at a proper height. If it's too high, it can be difficult to engage the bolt in the back. If it's too low, you may not get good engagement. To loosen this, you've got an acorn nut on the bottom and that's 916. Other three nuts are half inch. So we've got everything loose, so we've got plenty of movement back and forth. 
a little bit up and down. The easiest way to do this adjustment is right here. You can see side by side, you can see how close the gap is, and you can also get a little bit of up and down. For what we have, it's already pretty good. So all we're really gonna do is just try and maintain the gap that we had originally and try and keep it even on both sides. So that looks pretty good. So that's what we're gonna go with. Go ahead and tighten these bolts, these nuts up. You may require further adjustment with the kick plate, which is behind. It's this thing right here. There's four bolts all around here that can be adjusted or the locking plate that's right here. Well, that's the basics on how to adjust our latch mechanism. If you have any other questions, just shoot us an email or give us a call. You need to do a rebuild on them. We have a full kit available to do that. Oh, man. Alarm. So that's the basics on how to adjust our latch mechanism. If you have any questions, go ahead and give us an email or shoot us a call. That didn't work. You say, you know what I said, give us an email or shoot us a call? What the hell does that even mean? What are you guys standing behind here? <laughs> Still recording, what the hell? <laughs>